All right, so let's jump into this video and start talking about how we're gonna be putting our ECU into the speed density mode. So speed density just simply means that we're not gonna be using the mass airflow sensor and we're gonna only be using the MAP sensor. So the MAP sensor is gonna be corresponding with our volumetric efficiency table. So this is gonna be more of a traditional style tuning that a lot of you may be more comfortable with, with standalones or older generation ECUs where we have just a simple table that's gonna be VE based. So the process for tuning this is actually very, very simple. And we can use our short and long-term fuel trims from both banks to actually go ahead and tell us how much of a difference we need to correct our VE table by. So if we've programmed all the correct injector data in, then we're gonna be able to simply go into our VE table and actually make it, correct it for the air mass coming in our engine. So if we've installed different heads, different cam, uh, different intake or different uh, things that will change the air mass, we're gonna have to reflect that in our VE table. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to go ahead and calibrate your air mass properly with your volumetric efficiency. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can see how the speed density process is going to work. Okay, so let's get into this video. We're gonna be converting our file into speed density mode. And then I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your uh, logging in the scanner so you can go ahead and do a very simplistic overlay for our fuel trim so we can populate and tune our main VE table correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that file that I licensed here, click open. And I'm going to jump in under engine, and then I'm going to move in, let me open this up a little bit, I'm going to move into uh, my general here, and we can see that we have that math calibration that we went over in the last video, and this time we're going to be looking at the main VE table. So this is going to be a traditional style VE table that we've seen in standalones that are VE based, um, so this is going to be something you might be a little bit more familiar with um, if you're familiar with standalone tuning. So the concept of this is uh, this table is going to establish our air mass and it's going to be doing it in an inferred method or a calculated method instead of directly measuring it from our mass airflow sensor. So in order to go ahead and convert our car to a, v a speed density or this VE table so it looks at this only and ignores the math, there's a little bit more work involved. Um, it's not that bad, but it's going to be a couple more steps compared to uh, just converting our car to mass airflow calibration base. So I'm gonna go into my dynamic here. Now in the previous video, we set this very low. If we set it to a value of something like 100, that's going to effectively tell it to go on the mass airflow sensor only. If we set this at a very high RPM, it's gonna go completely ignore the mass airflow sensor. I'm gonna set it to something like 9,000 RPM. And that's going to completely disable the math curve. Now we have to do a couple other